hello friends welcome to BISP trainings and this is another video in Odoo 13 series today we are going to see how a model is created that means a table is created and to show that table data into a list view and a form view I recommend you to visit my last video in that video we have created one module named CRM underscore demo this was the process of that module so if you watch that video you will come to know how a module is created now this time we are going to see how now look at this this is the uh, directory structure of that module that we have created last time now this time we are going to see how a model is created for this only four simple steps we have to follow and after following that four steps our model will be created now let me show you step by step we will follow these four steps create a pi file in models folder create a pi file in models folder that is the leads.py i am taking why because we are creating a demo of crm so first leads then opportunities how it is converted to opportunities so we will move further so that is why leads.py we are creating a pi file after that what is the procedure import that file in underscore underscore init underscore dot pi so here it is leads okay now inside this we are going to create the table the structure of table is quite easy just like python let me show you whenever a lead table is created all the required information we are taking so what we have done here the name of that table is lead.data the name of the table is lead.data and leads table is the description first name lead status lead status means whether it is unqualified lead new lead so these are the attributes last name website email phone meeting follow up and then lead source lead source means from where the lead has come then the title company description image so this is how we write the select drop down this is a drop down actually so now we are going to so we have created a table in this way our model is created after that the next step is create an xml file in views folder create an xml file in views folder why because we are going to show you the show the data in views file so lead underscore data and all the files related to view that comes under this folder so inside this we have to write xml oh no x just a second yes utf8 after that now we are going to write down write down the menu item first of all we have to define a menu item like this crm demo is our first menu head menu head means this is the menu head so this is our crm demo is the head web icon is the icon that with the help of this icon we will recognize our module and then sequence is four sequence is four means when i click here the sequence will be on fourth place i will show you how it will and then menu item is the sub menu sub menu means under this main menu head all these are the sub menus so i am taking here leads then parent is leads underscore root underscore menu then action leads after that after clicking this sub menu some action will perform this is the action record this is the structure of what action is going to be performed action leads after clicking on action leads now what it will do it will fetch all the data from lead dot data and show it in the list view here tree and form means there are two types of views but if there is no data then it will show a message here like this now let me again rerun this and show you how it is done yes now it is running and uh, let me show you the apps
this is our CRM demo and this is the icon through which we recognize our module and this is I have saved it let me show you again this okay yes now again CRM demo yes I am going to save current search here is wait a minute save current search CRM demo and use as default yes now I have saved it now again I am going to upgrade it so this icon is displayed here now if I going to upgrade it one more thing we have forgot right now if you click here nothing is shown here now the fourth step what was the fourth step import that XML in manifest file yes this lead dot data into manifest file yes in this way lead underscore data is imported in manifest file now again I am going to now this time as we have saved now if I click here on apps it is already saved here so that is why default CRM demo now if I click here module info the information will be displayed here like this technical name is CRM demo category and all these things now if I upgrade it look at this CRM demo why it is on fourth location because we have already mentioned that where is that lead data look at this this is sequence 4 CRM demo sequence 4 and sequence 1 so sequence is here 4 and sequence 1 means this is the lead this is the sequence 1 let me delete this so that is why this is now right now currently there is no data so it creates a new lead here it is showing a message now if I create press create this is not a proper view that we want it is not organized so what we will do here we have to define the structure of form view and tree view first of all we will define the structure of form view look at this structure of form view remove the unnecessary spaces yes now this is the structure of form view this structure will be used to view and insert the data data form view is the ID you can take any ID uh, name any name as an ID then IR UI views the name is lead data form lead dot data the model name name uh, architecture equal to XML then form we, the form is started from here inside this sheet first of all we have taken the field image widget image class OE avatar there are some fixed classes so you have to take that only OE underscore title then here we have taken the group group this first group and second group we have divided into left and right group first name last name lead status lead source description and then email phone title city company so this is the form view this is the structure of form view it is common in every view file and now we are taking the structure of tree tree view so control C and so this is the common structure of tree view ID is data tree view IR UI view is the model and this is also fixed IR UI view is also the fixed model name is lead data tree because the uh, name of the table is lead dot data so you have to use the same then the model is lead data the data the table from where the data is to be fetched 
after that field architecture equal to xml and then tree now tree uh, this is the tree tag and inside that we have given all the fields first name last name city now let me show you how it works now it will look more beautiful let me show you yes again we have to go to apps we have to upgrade it we have to go to crm demo now create yes now it looks good now again i am entering one entry of a lead now here a new lead is here and through partnership this lead has come some description here just an example phone city title and then company and here we are taking an image just take this image and then this is the view now look at this this is the list view or we can say the tree view when i click here this is the view and editable view like this so in this way we create a model we insert the data and we display the data in tree view and form view so whatever the values comes here we decide here this is the structure of tree view if i remove a city then the city will not be visible here so this is the tree view so in this way in this video we have learned about how to create a model and show it only these four steps we have to remember so guys in my next video we will see how a kanban view is created kanban view means let me show you contacts this is the kanban view yes this is the kanban view this block look at this and this is the list view that we have already created so in my next video we will learn how to show the kanban view so guys if you like my videos please subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching thank you